Welcome to this question debrief. We have been looking at critical success factors, key performance indicators, and in this question from the December 2007 exam, we are asked to come up with some critical success factors. So the question says, explain five critical success factors. So if you have read through this, you will know that in this particular question, we have a company which is going to make sandwiches for a major supermarket chain. Now, we've got there the Superior Food Group, which owns a chain of supermarkets, and we have been told 90% of the sandwiches are sold before two o'clock each day. We need to come up with some critical success factors for this particular organisation. OK, then. One way to think about critical success factors is to think about what must a company do well. Another way to think about a critical success factor is what could go wrong that would actually start you losing customers. So whichever way you find easier in the exam, you should use. I'd be honest, it's often easier to do the second one, but think about what could go wrong and critical success factor, make sure it doesn't go wrong. Now, the advantage that we have in this particular question is there is only one customer that we have to keep happy. So what would annoy them? Well, I think the bit that I've highlighted in yellow, the fact that 90% of the sandwiches are sold before two o'clock, presumably one thing that would have to be critical would be delivery on time. What would happen if we regularly delivered the sandwiches late? Well, presumably the, the supermarket couldn't sell them and very quickly they will, they will cancel our contract. So a critical success factor is make sure that does not happen. So deliver things on time. Presumably another critical success factor would be the quality of the sandwiches. Obviously, if we made the sandwiches and they weren't, they weren't very well made, so in other words, perhaps we hadn't actually put the right ingredients in them. We'd said it was one kind of sandwich and it was a different kind of sandwich. Or perhaps, you know, there was supposed to be some kind of spread in there, like some kind of butter or some kind of margarine or some kind of salad cream or some kind of mayonnaise, and that was missing the sandwiches would be fairly poor quality. And again, I suspect we would lose that contract. So one thing will be quality. Now, are there any other stakeholders that we have to keep happy? We've got a customer. Also, there would be the government. What would the government be particularly interested in in a company that makes sandwiches? It's a food preparation company. So presumably, we would have to make sure that the factory was operated hygienically. In other words, there may be various pieces of legislation, there may be various rules that we have to follow. What happens if we do not follow them? Our factory isn't clean or there's various other things we don't do. Well, we might get fined, we might get closed down. And obviously, if we get closed down, we can't actually operate and we can't make any money. So a critical success factor would be making sure that you meet any standards for hygiene conditions. So we've got three things so far out of the five, which would be critical success factors. Are there any other critical success factors? Well, one of them might be prompt payment to your supplier. Why is that a critical success factor? Well, first of all, are we dealing with a stakeholder? Yes, a supplier. But if you notice in the question, it talks about the fact that SFG, that's our customer, is going to select the suppliers. What happens if we upset those suppliers by paying them late? 
Well, they will complain and they will complain to our customers. So we'd better make sure we pay people on time. Finally, of course, there is one other big stakeholder. The company is there to make money. So presumably, there will need to be cost control. So there is obviously going to be some costs involved, but if we don't control our costs, we might keep everybody else happy. Delivery is on time, quality of the food is good, everybody is paid, we meet all the hiking standards, and we make a big loss. So cost control will be important. Now, it's not part of this question, but the reason why this is important is how are you going to know if you are delivering things on time? You would measure the number of times that you were late. You're going to be late occasionally, but as long as that percentage is very, very low, the supermarket, our customer, will probably be OK with that. So you decide critical success factor delivery on time. You then decide how you're going to measure it. KPI, number, percentage of late deliveries. You would then set a target for that. We will have that target as 1%. So one delivery in 100 is late. How are we going to make sure we meet that target? Somebody is going to have to be in charge of it, meeting that target. Somebody will have to make sure that deliveries are made on time. Because if nobody is responsible for it, it won't happen. Everybody will say, I thought you were making sure they're on time. So one person has to be responsible. You should reward them if they meet the target. So if you are in charge of delivery to the customer and you have a target of 1% or less being late and you meet that target, you should get a reward. Now, that's a big part of P5. And it all stems from what are we going to measure in the first place, which comes from well, what's going to be important. Now, if you look at that question, that question, I think, is quite good in a lot of ways because there isn't anything to learn there. It's simply what do you think? One interesting thing about this question, there is something missing in that list, which some of you will have suggested. One of the things I get a lot of students suggest is we should come up with new types of sandwich. We should come up with new ingredients, new varieties. Now, normally that would be making different products. Normally that would be true, but not here. And the reason why it wouldn't be true here is because it says in the top line, agreed recipes. In other words, we get told what sandwiches to make. So we don't we we can't come up with any new products. It's our customer who will do that. So I hope you would agree that's not a bad question. It's common sense. There's nothing to learn, but it's being practical.